Welcome back. Riverton will rock into the new millennium, according to Y2K party organiser Christine Hainstock. The Taramia Bay party will kick off at 8pm on the last day of the second millennium and continue into the first day of the third. Hunter Andrews filed this report. Riverton has a lot of history as a family destination and it's this carnival atmosphere of days gone by that promoter Christine Hainstock is hoping to recreate this New Year's. Actually there's a lot of people coming especially to Riverton from outside of the province so I'd like to think that there's enough people to go around but Riverton's the sort of place that I know I used to go there when I was a child and I took our children there, we used to load up the car with the Christmas tree on the top and the cat crying because she didn't really want to come and you know all that and a lot of people see it as a trip, a nostalgia trip really Hunter so um, yeah, I think that's drawing a lot of people back to Riverton. Like the other events planned in the South, Riverton's welcome to the new millennium will include music and fireworks, but also freedom camping, a carnival and a hungry breakfast. It's going to be a happening place to be. Uh, to start with, at uh, 7 at night we've got the local line dancers for half an hour just to get everybody in the mood and get their toes tapping. Then we've got my clown juggler acrobat from Christchurch, Chris the Clown, he was here for the Santa Parade recently. Um, and then at 8 o'clock we've got Liz Gunn landing by Chopper and she's going to be with the crowd, that's Television New Zealand of course, they're going to be there filming for half an hour. And while they're there we're going to have Shannon Cooper Garland and Jason Schmidt, our own Jay Shah, with Jet and the bagpipes. So we're going to have In Your Face Entertainment to show to the rest of the country. Um, together with them we're going to have Tiana Areti from the McDonald's Super Troopers and it's just they're going to basically carry the night but Jet and Jay Shah will be the main entertainment. And if the first half of the celebrations wasn't enough, then there's always New Year's Day, which starts with a rather early wake-up call. At one in the morning, we've got a DJ kicks in, and then at 5.30, everybody's going to be woken with bangs and other surprises. And Jason Schmidt is continuing, um, and he'll be full on at 5.30 in the morning with, with rock music once more and with Chris the Clown and we're having the Kapahaka group performing at 10 in the morning. There'll be a hangi at 6am to get everybody feared well to face the day ahead. With all this promise of fun and entertainment, will then the party be Y2K compliant? Absolutely. Well, there's all that water out there at sea for a start, but we'll have plenty of food on hand. People will be camping there too. We've got the freedom camping thing happening. So they'll have all their little cookers, so they really will be... Y2K compliant, <laughs> yes. So if you're looking for a place to camp and celebrate, or just celebrate, then a return of the carnival atmosphere to Riverton could be just what you're looking for. Hunter Andrews for Mercury News. Over a thousand people